Right. Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Spammel's channel. As you may have noticed, I am not Mr. Spammel, and that's because he's dead. Um, but today I'll be taking over the channel and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Rocket Mod server. So I know a lot of you guys are want to become server owners, and now that Rocket Mod's pretty much dead and no one can get it easily, uh, it might be a bit of a stressful time for you, but don't worry, it's super easy. And literally in a few minutes, I'll show you how to get a server up and running with Rocket Mod installed. So if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Mr. Spammel's channel. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to Steam CMD. Just type Steam CMD or click the link in the description down below and it'll take you to this website that's owned by Steam. What you're going to want to do is click on the download Steam CMD thing here and I'm going to be focusing on Windows today. So just click download Steam CMD for Windows and click that link. Once you do, it'll give you a little exe folder and just simply take that exe folder and put it in your documents. I've already done that, so that's fine. Once it's in your documents, run it and it will install a few things for you and then open up a console. So you can boot the console anytime by just clicking here. Um, once it checks the updates, there we go. So you'll see this pretty much. And what you're going to do here is enter the code or not the code, but like the commands to install unturned. So Nelson kindly added a dedicated server app for us sometime mid year last year. So what you're going to want to do is just go onto this link or copy the command that's in the description. And literally you're going to type login anonymous and app update. And then that number there, that number is literally the unturned dedicated server. app. So just copy that with control C and paste it here, control V. Hit enter a few times and it'll do that. But because for the sake of time, I've already done that. So I'm gonna close that before it re-downloads the app. Once that's done, it will create a file for you in the documents or whatever folder you put the Steam CMD. Literally look for a folder called Steam Apps. Then go to common and then you'll see a folder called U3DS, which stands for Unturned 3 Dedicated Server. Click there and bam, you've got an Unturned 3 dedicated server so now you can boot up servers from here but it doesn't have rocket mod the first thing we're going to want to do is configure the server so it boots with the correct port and all of that so nelson kindly provided a thing called example server.bat so what i would recommend you guys do is just right click on that copy it and then paste it then you can rename it to something such as test server which i have already done right down here you can right click and edit the test server file and it would look something like this It'll say, um, so you can ignore this front bit here, but afterwards, this is where you start putting in the port and all of that. The example one just shows you how to make a LAN server. So if you're interested in a LAN server, literally just leave this and you can change the word example here to whatever you want. So this is just the folder name of your server. So if you want to call it test or fun server, whatever you want, call it anything. Um, all of this green stuff is commented out. So this is just stuff you can read if you ever get lost. Um, Nelson kindly put that there for you guys so you can read all the things you can put in to change a port and all of that. But what I've done is I've already made a test server file over here. So what you're going to do is once you've copied that folder and then right click edited it, you can simply put a minus sign, port, forward slash, and then whatever port you want to use. So obviously with the ports, you're going to have to make sure that your dead E is port forwarded or whatever you're using um, and make sure that the ports open in firewall. But if you're doing a LAN server, it shouldn't be a problem. And if you are on a Deddy, um, I'm pretty sure you would know what you're doing anyway when it comes to these things because they normally come port forwarded. So you can put whatever port you want. Make sure that both that port and the port above it is open because Unturned uses two ports to communicate. And then put a plus and secure server if you want a secure server. And then a forward slash and the server name. So I've just called it test server there. Once that's done, you just control S and save the file. Um, then what you can do is double click on the file, test server.bat and I'll start booting up the server. So once that server's booted up, you can go to servers and then test server. And right there, it'll show you all the files. It won't show you the rocket folder though. So you'll have every single file here except rocket. So that won't exist. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how to get the rocket file. So pretty much all you need to do is go back onto Google, click the link in the description, and you go to go to imperial plugins slash rocket mod. It'll open up a page like this. Just click on get rocket mod and you can see all the things here. Obviously you can get Rocket Mod from GitHub and you can also edit the source code because it's officially dead now and no one owns it, so you can do what you want. But if you just want to download Rocket Mod for your server, just click here and I'll download a zip file for you in a few seconds. Right, so there we go. The rocket.unturned folder will download. Sometimes it gets blocked, just allow Chrome to unblock it there. 
um, and then you want to, you'll have two folders here, modules and scripts. Totally ignore scripts. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use that. But go right into modules and copy the rocket.unturned folder. So this folder is rocket mod. Simple as that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your unturned server app here with all these fancy folders. All you're going to look for is the modules folder. Once you find modules, it will be empty. It's just because I did this video before. It looked like this originally once you open the file. So what you'll do is just control V the file and then there we go. Rocket is installed. Simple as that. As you can see, Rocket Unturned's got a whole bunch of things in here. Do not touch any of them. Just leave them. Um, there's no need ever to touch them. So now you're done. You can leave the modules folder and head back to your server. Um, but first you're gonna wanna boot the server to generate the files. So just click on the bat file that you edited in the beginning and the server will boot. As you'll see, as the server's booting, it'll load with a whole bunch of rocket commands. So I'll show you that now once it loads. There we go. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of green and green is always good. So now if we scroll up, these are all the commands that Rocket provides with default. You've got slash V, slash I, heal, God, all of these wonderful things. So if you want a basic server with all those commands that everyone loves, there we go. You've got it as perfect for LAN if you're playing with some friends or you just want to spawn in items in a single player kind of environment. But if you do want the server to go public, I recommend you add some plugins and make a nice server. So I'll show you roughly how to do that now. So now if we go to the servers folder and go to your servers actual file, you'll see that you have a rocket folder here. Once you open this rocket folder, it has a whole bunch of things like plugins, which is where you put all your plugins, libraries where you put all the libraries to help work with the plugins if they require them, logs if you want to check out a bunch of logs, maybe see if some admins are spawning some things in or whatever. This is just all the logs. Um, and then you've also got your permissions file and a whole bunch of other things. So there we go. If you wanted to learn how to install Rocket, that's it. Simple as that. Um, but if some of you are new to Rocket and you'd like a video maybe explaining how permissions work, just leave a comment down below and I'll either reply or if there's a lot of demand for it, I don't mind making another video on how to work with permissions, MySQL, or all these different things that might be a bit intimidating when you're starting a server. So yeah, that's it. Your Rocket server's done. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.